Hey, welcome back to my channel, Stackers. Now, normally I'm showing you a lot of silver in my videos. That's the core focus of the channel. But in today's video, we're going to take a look at a gold coin, a fractional gold coin, a quarter ounce gold Canadian maple leaf. Fractional gold is another important part of my uh, stacking strategy for 2024. And my goal is to stack about another two ounces of it, along with a lot more silver. So I hope you enjoy today's video. Stay tuned and let's get started with some gold coming right up. All right, let's try to take a closer look at this quarter ounce gold Canadian maple leaf. This one I paid $541 for, oh geez, about five days before the year ended, maybe six days. Uh, not a bad price at the time for a quarter ounce of gold. I did want another gold eagle. I've got a few of them to show you. Super reflective 24 karat gold Canadian maple leaf. So what do you think of these Canadian gold maple leaves? A uh, little bit thicker, right? A little bit thicker coin than the quarter ounce gold American Eagle. They're cousins to the south. And obviously, 4 is fine. Instead of your 22 karat gold with the gold eagle. But you can see a noticeable size difference. You can't feel a weight difference, of course, but both beautiful gold coins. Uh, you know, I myself go for the eagles whenever I can get them. But my last two pickups have actually been foreign gold. Let's go ahead and zoom out on this. A lot of reflectivity off this gold coin with the lighting in here today. Let's go ahead and grab the Philharmonic. So this was the gold that I received from Gold Club Direct back in December. 10th ounce, 2023. Gold Philharmonic. And I do recommend that if you are saving for fractional gold, if you want to make a a gold purchase at less than one ounce uh, that you do look for the quarter ounce if you can. You do get a little bit more gold for the money. You pay a lower premium. And you can actually feel the weight of the gold in your hand with the quarter ounce. It's rather difficult with the tenth ounce gold coins. Now there are a couple scratches on this. Sorry gold collectors. I bought this as part of my gold stack. It's a highly produced coin. There's nothing uh, limited mintage or rare about the quarter ounce gold maple leaf from 2019. Uh, maybe a little bit more difficult to come across down here in Florida, but I'll take two scratches on the coin as I'm, you know, buying and holding it to hold wealth in gold as part of my stack, not really, uh, you know, as part of my coin collection. So the focus once more it's going to be mostly on the gold eagles living here in the United States. Just makes sense to stack the coin of your country. Typically, they're you know more widely accepted. More people want them, higher demand, and that's all true. With the 22 karat gold American eagle, you don't scratch. You don't need to keep them in a capsule. They're not quite like silver, right? You don't really have to worry about uh, them tarnishing. It's gold. It's a completely different metal. Highly valuable for just a small amount of it. So that's my first gold pickup for 2024, and obviously I've got quite a few more goals. We're only a few days into the year and uh, we'll be mostly focused on the quarter ounce, half ounce and 10th ounce variety of gold coins, but definitely want to pick up another one ounce gold American Eagle or Buffalo this year. How about you? Do you have any gold goals that you'd be willing to share with me down in the comments section? Always curious to know what my subscribers are stacking and collecting. The Orlando Fun Coin Show is this week and I'm not far away from it. So I'm hoping that is uh, something that I'm going to be able to attend. As a predominantly silver stacker, I really can't uh, discount the benefit and, and beauty of stacking fractional gold. It's all worked out rather well for me since I started stacking fractional gold. And this is not all the original fractional gold that I've stacked along the years. Yeah, the value of gold has only gone up. Now, yeah, premiums have come up along with it, but... They're always overcome within a year or two by the continued increase in spot price. Really easy to buy and sell. Obviously, don't take up a whole lot of space. And if you're a predominantly silver stacker like me and you're looking to get into gold, 
the tenth ounce, quarter ounce, uh, gold eagles, uh, gold maples, depending on where you're from, what you want, what you like, are a good place to begin. I really wouldn't worry about that premium too much. The half ounce is not a very popular size and one that I'm going to be targeting next now that I've got my fourth quarter ounce. Now, since I started stacking fractional gold again back in July, yeah, all this gold here you see is it's been stacked since July of 2023, a little more than two ounces. I think it's 2.2 ounces now in fractional gold. So we'll keep on it hot and heavy, actually going to be adding at least a tenth ounce of gold this this year per month. So that'll be 1.2 ounces. And I really want another half ounce gold eagle. It's a good size coin and coming in at just a little bit more than a thousand dollars. It's more manageable for me to save um, or, you know, maybe uh, during my bonus or something this year, I can just slide a thousand dollars away and put that into another half ounce gold eagle. But we'll see what happens. I'm wishing all of you the best of luck with your gold stack in 2024. I'm happy to answer any of your questions down below about fractional gold or stacking in general. The Canadian gold maple leaf is a good choice here in North America or anywhere in the world. Four nines fine, beautiful, highly recognized. You really can't go wrong with the maple leaf and we won't be seeing the queen on the new ones. That's a change that's coming up. Anyways, all, I hope you have a wonderful night. I hope your stack is growing and getting heavier every single month. And I'll talk to you again soon in my next video. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel.